What if I told you that you can make websites like this, this, or this without ever having to write a single line of code? And not only that, but you could sell them for a minimum of $10,000. Would you believe me? Well, in my agency, we sell websites like this all of the time. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step guide, even if you're a beginner, of how you can do this and how you can sell these to businesses for thousands of dollars using no code tools and AI only. Let's get into it. Before I begin, I'll leave a link to a PDF in the description below that has all of these steps, step-by-step -step, so you don't miss a thing. So feel free to check that out when the video is done. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to spline.design. This is where we're gonna create the 3D elements. So you see, when I move on this site, this site has a bunch of 3D elements here. <clears throat> you want to press get started and uh, sign up. And once you've signed up, you come up to this home page here. This is the home base that you'll need to essentially make anything that you want to use on your website. So what I like to do is go to the community field here. This shows you what other people have created and you can use that as a base to work off. So if we scroll down and I'll pick this, maybe this robot right here. Okay, if we click into it, you see this robot moves with the with the mouse here and follows the mouse around. It's quite a cool um, little, little 3D object here and it will look really good on a website. So what I'm going to do is if I want to edit this, I will not press that, click off it and then press remix hand here. Okay, so remix will then take you into this field which is where you can do all of your editing for the 3D object that you want to put on the website. Um, I'm not the best at this, but that's why I use the community part, but you can build your own things if it's like a special, you know, I don't know, a special burger that you want to build for a restaurant website or whatever it is, you can either start from the community or start from scratch and create your own. Uh, and, but for the sake of this video, instead of creating our own, we're going to use this robot. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this get in touch button, which is highlighted button there. I'm just going to right click actually, I'm just going to press delete there. Now that's gone. Now you'll see on the left hand side, this is how you select all the elements. Um, I'm going to select the head here, which is what uh, clearly is what moves uh, already. If I press the play button here, you can see how the, um, the robot itself is going to interact when it's on the website. Uh, what I like to do is, see when you scroll, I'm scrolling up and down now on the mouse, nothing happens. What I want to do is make the head of the robot come up when I scroll down and then come back down when I scroll up. I think this just adds a, a nice little effect. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on the head here. Then we're gonna go on the right hand side here where it says state. Uh, a state is essentially just describes the state of where the, the head is. So the base state and the state seem to be the same thing right now. So we'll leave the base state as where it is. And then we're gonna come to this second state here. I'll move the position of it. You can literally either type in or you can click on the X and drag left or right or up and you know, the X axis. We're going to do on the Y axis, we're going to drag this left or right for up and down. So I want this state so when you scroll up, the head goes up like this. I'm going to put it about there, about 120. And then what we're going to do is add an event here. So when you add an event, we want to add an event when you scroll, which should be somewhere. I kind of see scroll. Oh, right here. Right where start is, press scroll. And then what we're going to add is a transition. So the transition is going to be from the base state to the state, which is where the head has moved up. And then if we press the play button here, we can see it. So it still moves around when I move a mouse. But when I scroll up, you see the head moves up. When I scroll down, the head moves back down, which is quite a cool little animation, I think. And that's perfect. That's going to do well for our website. That's exactly what I want. So now we need to get it ready to export to our website platform. So press export here. You always want to go to viewer. That's what the one that works with scroll animations. If you have just like a moving animation, you can use a public URL and stuff like that. But you go to viewer. I'm gonna, I would like to turn the logo off, the uh, spline logo, but because it's a free trial, you can't take that off. You see, if I press it, it would ask me to charge it, which you probably will need to if you're gonna put this on a client website. But just for the sake of this uh, tutorial, uh, leave the logo on, load and preview on. You wanna go to play settings and turn, these are probably uh, all on yes. You wanna turn all of these off, orbit, pan, zoom, turn all of those off, leave the um, scroll on and the cursor as default. Touch settings is um, what it would do on the mobile. So I don't really want it to scroll up and down on the mobile too. 
uh, or to move around. So I'm going to disable orbit, pan, zoom, and page scroll. And then everything else, I think you can leave the same. Now that's basically all set, ready for us to export. Uh, what we we'll then need to do is create a framer account. This is the no code website builder we're going to use and place this um, this 3D object on there. So we'll go to framer.com. Uh, you're gonna start for free. Okay, so once you have an account, you wanna go to framer.com forward slash templates. And this gives you a good starting point to start your website on. You can start from scratch and build whatever you want. But these templates are really, really good. And there's some of them actually for free. So what you can do is see all featured templates here. I'm gonna click free on the left hand side. These are all the free templates. Let me pick, um, if you have over the templates, you can preview them here and see what they look like. So this looks like a crypto website. Um, I'll just use this one to start off with. Uh, press use for free. So now this web page is open. You'll see in Framer, you see the desktop view, the tablet view and the mobile view all on one page. So what we're gonna do is try to replace this phone here with our little robot. So I'm just gonna click on that phone, literally press delete and that's gonna go. And if you press layers here on the left hand side, you can literally see all of the layers, how they're structured on the website. You can add and delete and kind of work on it from there. So what I'm going to do is insert that embed right here. Um, I want it to be the background. So what I'm gonna do is change the position type to absolute. You see now it goes behind everything. I'm just going to drag it so it fits uh, the whole thing here. And then if you scroll down to here where it says URL, press HTML and we're going to hop back to our spline. Uh, we'll press update viewer. It will do its thing for a minute and then the URL content has been updated. What you can now do is go back to overview and you press copy embed. Back to our framer, here where it says HTML, if you paste that in there and press play to view it, you'll see our robot is now here. Although we don't want it here, we either would like it behind the text really, so. <coughs> okay, so I end up just removing all of the right content there, left the left content, and now it seems to be working okay. My robot's there, the text is kind of spread out throughout the whole website, and if I press play here, You'll see as I move around in that area, it will follow me around. And if you scroll up, the head goes up, scroll down, the head goes down. And just like that, scroll down, up, which is a really, really cool little uh, feature that you can add to your website. And this adds that million dollar touch to, uh, to just a basic website. And what I'd recommend is putting two or three, maybe four of these uh, onto your frame website. And this really pushes that website from being something worth Five hundred or a thousand dollars to push into five, six, seven, even ten, fifteen thousand dollars, just depending on how much work you then put into this. If you want a custom three D object, a lot of people on Fiverr or Upwork can create these three D objects on Spline for you. Then all you do is embed them into your website. So what I do for more inspiration and ideas of how I can really use this, there's a website called Godly Dot Website that shows a bunch of different websites that use three D in a whole load of different ways. And it's a good place that I go to to get ideas if I'm looking for uh, something to implement for a customer. And now then, how do you get this to a customer? How do you get someone to pay 10, 15,000 for something like this? Once you've picked a niche and you're targeting that niche, you're sending email or uh, doing phone outreach or social media outreach, you create this template that fits uh, for all the companies in your niche. So let's say you're targeting crypto companies, you create this, what you're going to do is when you're sending your emails or your phone calls or whatever, you're going to speak to them as if you've already made their website. You say, hi, I've looked at your website and I've already redesigned it for you. If you'd like to see it, then I'd love to jump on a call and show you. Uh, then, then what you would do is if they've accepted, they join your call on Calendly or whatever you use, you'd show them this home page that you've made uh, but all you've done is adjusted your template put their logo their contact details on there and show them that this is what i've already made for you they'll be wowed by all of your your website design your 3d elements will really uh, almost sell them before the call is finished you would then just explain the aspect of the website how you've gone about designing it and then you ask them to pay 
for you to complete the website. Then you can work on adding the About Us services page or whatever aspects they want in their website. And that's as simple as that. This is how you can create a website and charge $10,000 for it with just a simple tweak. If you'd like a more detailed explanation of my outreach methods and how I actually reach out to customers, my last video will be linked right now. Uh, you can view that and it will show you this whole process in a lot more detail. But that's as simple as that, how you add 3D elements to your website to take it from charging hundreds to thousands of dollars to your client. Hope you guys learned something and enjoy this one. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.